Prince once again? Yep, I'm actually using a texture pack for this episode. If you don't know the name, um, it's Vanilla Plus Plus. You can find it on Planet Minecraft, and of course, I'm going to um put the pack in the link in the description below. So just look down there if you need anything. But anyway, Diesel Dirty 16 here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And in today's video. We are actually going to go to the jungle. Now, how are we going to do it? Through the never. In between episodes, I did... Excuse me. Oh, sorry about that. Um, there was a random pause right there. But anyway, in this episode, we are going to... um. We are going to go to the jungle biome. So, what are some things you need to prepare for? Well... The jungle biome, we haven't really talked about it that much, and we've only done one episode of the jungle biome last season. The jungle biome is a giant biome in Minecraft. It's, it's rare, and it, and it features the only trees, the jungle trees, and it also features some oak trees. And also, they do, sp sometimes coca beans do spawn on jungle logs, which can be crafted into brown dye, which we needed, which I absolutely needed. And with coca beans, you can actually farm them. S so, so now, what we need to do, So now what we need to do, I do need to repair some tools, and I do have more stacks of diamonds. Now I got rid of the villager farm because it was giving me a bit of a headache and it was getting a bit annoying. Now I didn't like it, but I'm planning on doing a different village, different approach next time. So yeah, I do need to repair my tools. So, so yes, we're not going in quite yet. So basically, we're going. We do have enough. Ju uh, we do have jungle logs, but we do not have the most crucial ingredient, which is used to not only make chocolate cook chip cookies in Minecraft, but they do spawn. They they are farmable. So. Why, but first, the mending enchantment is just incredibly a, a pain. Like, I cannot believe, and I actually have to do this in creative. Like, 258, really. Just, the only point, and the only approach is mending, which I, I just, which I detest about, so. Anyway, that was that. So... Onwards to the jungle, but first we got to actually grab our the rest of our supplies. We do not well, actually we do have an axe, so that's good. We may not need our trident as well as diamond, but I am going to grab some shears, and I'm just going to use slash enchant to get an unbreaking shears. So, see, yeah, I still have to clean up my ender chest. No, I can do that now. Yes. Yes, yeah, you see something like this, like you don't normally see it, like here of uh, the village 127. That was in a data pack I was fishing, and I was able to catch some ex insanely high levels of here village potions. They last like 16 minutes. It's because I chose it. No worries, I did not use commands to do that. It's just that I had to set the NBT right. So, anyways. Now, we're going to the Never Tunnel. And I know this sounds silly, but it has been proven to be the fastest way to get there. So, where we're gonna go? Okay, all right. I was a bit confused for a second. Why was the never portal red for a second? And I'm like, wait a second. What kind of portal is that? 
So anyways, the Never Tunnel's just right in here. So I'm not going to record the whole trip on camera because that would be pretty useless to some of you. So I'm basically going to say... Okay, what happened to the camera? So, anyways. So then, we'll see you in the jungle. Catch you later. So anyways, we are at the jungle portal now. Or should I say that? that it's still never portal, but we are at the jungle portal. And yes, let's just say I've planned this all out. Basically, I planned this all out. I used the locate command, and I actually winged like 8 to 16 blocks in the nether which would be like um up to like 200 blocks in the overworld so basically I've winged estimations they are not exact so anyways here we go we're going into the overworld and we're going to see the jungle biome and here we are yeah you'll probably see these weird trees because I'm using a resource pack but, um, while we're in the jungle, I'm actually going to turn them off. Along with the captions. So how do I look now? This actually looks better. I do have shading turned on. And if you were asking, we're not, I'm not using Optifine, so don't yell at me if you think I am. This is proof. The F screen free is proof. If I was using Optifine, then I would have seen it. But I cannot use mods because the way this machine has been programmed to not open certain files upon download. And it's, in my opinion, it's really annoying. So, welcome to the jungle biome. And I'm actually going to actually increase my render distance up to 12. Yeah, I know it's going to lag a bit, but the vines... We're actually going to ignore the vines. I'm planning on doing a vine farm, so now we need a way to actually get up here. So, yeah, this is going to be a problem. But I think I do have one solution that I can do, and that is this. Yeah, I can actually replace these leaves and actually place them down and then create a staircase. Yeah, and this thing is lagging, so I'm actually going to drop it down free chunks, so. Anyways, so now we need a way to actually get down and get back up safely. Because I do not have any ender pearls, which serves a problem. And it's already getting dark, and I completely forgot to bring a bed. But no worries, I set my difficulty to peaceful because this biome is pretty dangerous. So we don't have to worry about any mob spawning in this episode. So. so yeah, in the previous episode, we actually went to the never. And let's just say. Things gotten so crazy that I decided to skip the whipper. And have this episode being something else. Right now we are on episode 11, I think. Yeah, I think we are on 11. So anyway, I just created a mini staircase going up. And already I have like over 75% of the stack. So this biome is actually pretty dense. Yeah, and unfortunately I do not have a bed. But I do have unbreaking shears, so that's good. Now first, let's talk about this item. And some of you may be wondering, what the heck is this? These, or should I say this, is coca beans. Coca beans, also known as coca, they can be farmable, and they can age up to three levels. And basically, they are farmable, so that for every level, you can actually get more coca beans. Now, coca beans can actually be dyed into brown dye. Which can be used to make things related to brown, like brown concrete and brown beds and all that stuff. It's fun. Now we have one problem, and it's nighttime. It's peaceful, but I should go to bed. 
but that also serves a problem. My spawn point. Apparently, if I die, there's no way I'm going back to my base. Not without removing the bed, which is the only way. Until I can find some set world spawn command and actually spawn at my base, at my starter house, that's not going to happen. Yeah, and I, I'm kind of tempted. I did recently in between episodes, whenever I'm far away from home, I used the time add in a certain number. But first, we're going to actually set it today without resetting the game time. So, time query daytime. It's 15212. So, we're going to want to make sure it's the daytime is zero. So, we could want to add 8000 T. So there we go. Yeah, it's much better than just using time set. Because with time set, um it just resets it it just resets the it just sets the game time. So if you do time set zero, it'll just reset to day zero. So yeah, and I recently found this out a couple days ago and ever since I was actually um trading and it became nightfall and I didn't want to mess up my spawn point, so I decided to just use time add. It's actually, it's really useful. I would use it. So now that it's daytime, and crap, where did my, where did I start? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, right there. I really should get a, get coordinates for that. Yeah, we, yeah, and the coca beans. Now we got parrots. I forgot to mention that parrots do spawn in the jungle. And yes, parrots can be tamed. During the 1.12 development, and, I, and I'm assuming that it was before pre-release 3, if I am correct, to breed, to tame parrots, you have to use um cookies, which I find is extremely dumb and it has caused a lot of controversy so the developers realizing that they don't want children to actually go and feed cookies chocolate chip cookies to parrots they change it to wheat now the reason well that's because chocolate chips are actually poisonous to parrots so basically instead of taming them if you give a pair a cookie, chances are it's going to die. So now, where did that pair go? Oh, great. Uh, yep. This is what did I say? This biome is densely packed. Now, in order to bring the parrots over here, you're going to need to use wheat seeds. So I'll just carry this around. What? Oh, and we got our first one. Oh, come on. Just give me some, for goodness sake. Yeah, sometimes you just need almost a full stack of wheat, and it's pretty infuriating. I don't know if the fortune or the looting enchantment does any good, but... Oh, come on why just why why does it all right it's I think that's just me yeah I don't know if I'm supposed to fortune the grass or am I or what but how am I supposed to get the wheat seeds yeah I do not have fern which means I cannot fortune those into... Alright, now I got one for that. So, now, where is that parrot? For goodness sake. Stop running away from me. Stop it. Okay, so, there we go. 
we got our first parrot of the series. Isn't that great? Yes, this is actually our first parrot of the entire world. Isn't that great? So, now, yeah, the first one's probably going to be the hardest to tame. So, anyways, let's stop fooling around and let's actually keep going. So, anyways, with these jungles, sometimes jungles do spawn with um, a jungle temple and I'm actually going to use the locate command and it's 235 blocks so I need to be at 2192 and 43 which I am not at I am way higher in one section and way lower in another axis so one of the first things we need to target this episode is the um yeah in the melons I think I can just silk touch yeah I can just mine it with a pickaxe and does everything for me. Now, bamboo does spawn in um, the jungle biome, but I don't think we need to worry about that because we have a bamboo farm back at the base, so. We're actually gonna. We're gonna. We're actually gonna tame it in creative. So, anyway, we got ourselves a second bird. Oh, and we got a third. Oh, wow. I really need to actually get a resting rest area going for these birds. That's probably because I was holding the thing. So anyway, where where are we? I'm actually going to turn down my render distance again to five chunks this time, and we're going to locate the jungle period mid once again. And we are much lower than we need to, so that's a shame. We should be looking for a cobblestone box, basically. What I call it. And I'm going way, way far, far, far away. Crap. I shouldn't have gone that direction. Yeah, this biome can be really dangerous. What did I tell you? It is really hard to traverse. Now, I did expect... The, and, and yeah, I walked over with the map first, and Ben went into the nev, grabbed the coordinates, went into the never, and actually created the path. So I didn't just use the locate command. So here we are. We are at the um, jungle pyramid. Yes, the jungle pyramids. Oh, and we're at a beach. Perfect. And there's actually some loot. I wasn't expecting this at all. But we have one problem, and that is the fact that it's completely submerged in sand. Yeah, I cannot believe it. I got this lucky. It's at the edge of a jungle biome. Now, jungle temples are the only structure in the jungle biome in Minecraft, besides, um, you know, mine shafts and strongholds. And what the devil do you think you're doing here? So anyway, where is the entrance? Goodness me. Uh, uh, Merlin's mushrooms is what I, what I should say. Merlin's mushrooms. I mean, Merlin's beard, sorry. Merlin's mushrooms, that's Sophia the first. Now where is the other side of that thing? For goodness sake. Don't tell me don't tell me the entrance is buried. I think the entrance is actually buried alive. Yep, it is. That explains it. So yeah, this is a very dangerous place, so I really do not want you to be... Where are you guys? Alright, I'm gonna need you to sit. Down, boy. Down, boy. what I say? Get down. Yes, this is... Oh, really get... Really got... Really... Really squad. Really. Just... Yeah. Down. 
Thank you. You're not coming up with me in this one. This is way too dangerous and you can get shot. It's now the combination. Yeah, I think it's that. Did I do it right? No. I didn't. Yeah, is it that? Oh, darn it. Alright, oh yeah. Lift this one. Yes, and now we have some loot. Oh, we found some di Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did modify the loot tables for the jungle, um, pyramid. So if you were wondering why I found, like, three diamonds, that's probably why. Yeah, you won't find anything like that, honestly, to be honest. Now these guys, these are dangerous. Um, there are trip wires down here, which you can kind of see with the hitbox. The only way you can actually disarm it is by using shears. It's safer. Yeah, I'm actually actually gonna collect the trip wires as well. Same here. Then I can actually loot some of the gold in there. Yeah, and you know what? Let's actually collect the redstone. So yeah, that's that. That's actually it. Oh, and also, free sticky pistons. Now that's a way to actually get sticky pistons for free. And also there's a repeater available for free. Like there's all this free stuff that you can actually go and steal in the pyramid. So, and yeah, that's actually really great. So now let's actually time for you to it's art squad it's time to actually go and as you can tell this is already getting crazy enough yeah we do have another one but I'll just kill it for feathers now, did I tame this one? Yeah, I did, so. so. Yeah, we actually didn't do very much, but at least it's honest work. Mainly because of, I, of the wandering trader. I got the um, jungle saplings, by the way, from the wandering trader. Traded in for with some emeralds. So, if you were wondering, that's why. So, yeah, I didn't mention about the vill jungle villagers, by the way, because they weren't implemented, but their outfits were added into the texture files. And, you, and if you spawn a villager with spawn aids or something, I don't know about breeding yet and how that can affect um, its theme, but... You'll see. I also found a swamp biome. And apparently that was a bit like further back. Apparently to my horror I found um two different I I found out that um it was the same swamp biome as the one as the nearest um swamp hut was in relation to spawn. So that was a bit unfortunate. I thought we were gonna have a bigger swamp biome. But I don't think I looked correctly at the thing. Oh, however I do feel like I need to get back, but we have one slight problem with the parrots. So we'll see about that. So we'll actually get back to um the base. And then we can actually worry about the cocoa bean farm and a place for my parents. See you back at my base. So we are back at the base now. However, something did happen with my parents when I tried to teleport back. They 
like would literally disappear. I'm gonna need you. I need. I'm gonna need you lot to sit down. Down. Down, boy. Down, boy. Down. No, I'm specifically. Stop it. Listen, do I have to feed you cookies? Take a freaking seat for crying out loud. Yeah, this this parrot does not want to listen. No seat. On a seat. Sit down. Thank you. So anyway, sorry about that. Apparently my parrots disappeared. For some reason, not my parents, excuse me, Par it's in Minecraft. The animal, these, these boys, um, they seem to disappear whenever I, um, spawn further distances, and why am I hearing wandering trader noises? Hold on, hold on, hold on, where was that? I need to grab some emeralds just in case. There we go. 58 to spare. Now you know what, we'll do the um, coca farm next episode. What are you doing on my doorstep? You have anything useful? All you have is lime dye, really. You know what, I could take your trades. But not for long, I already have pods, Zool. Brown mushroom, eh. I don't need that. Uh, pink dye, maybe. Um, well, yep. You know what? I'll let you stay around. But if you keep messing with me, I will murder you. And yes, this is a, this is a threat to the um, wandering trader. So anyway, we're actually going to end this episode right here. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this video, and shoot, I forgot to turn off my um, captions, but that's okay. You probably noticed it all video. But anyway, that's pretty much going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching.